Hey guys, Gizmodic here and today we are taking a look at Android Pie for the Asus Zenfone Max Pro. So some really good developers have ported the Android P developer preview to the Max Pro and in this video I will be giving you an overview as well as the full installation process for this ROM. But before we get started, let me tell you that you need an unlocked bootloader as well as a custom recovery like Red Wolf or TWRP. Only then you can follow this process. So do those things first if you haven't, I have a video about it and only after that you can start the installation process. So to get started, you need to download three zip files, which are the firmware zip file, the Android P image zip file, and the boot vendor image zip file. You also need to download the Magisk 16.7 zip file, an NFC zip file, as well as the Google Play Services APK. Now copy all of these files into a folder. Here you need to extract the Android P zip file, as well as the boot vendor zip file. Connect your Zenfone Max Pro to your PC, copy the firmware file, the Android P image file, the boot image file, as well as the vendor image file to the phone. You also need to copy the Google Play Services APK, the Magisk zip file, as well as the nfc.zip to your phone. Now you need to install the ROM which is pretty simple. Boot your phone into the recovery mode by holding the power button as well as the volume down button. Once you are into the recovery, go to install and here flash the firmware zip file. As soon as it's done, go to wipe, click on advanced wipe and clear data, cache, Dalvik cache, system and vendor. Once the wipe is finished, go to install, select install image option and here first select the android p image file. Then you will have a couple of options, so select the system option and then flash it. It might take some time but then once it's done, similarly install the vendor as well as the boot image file. Make sure that you select the vendor option as well as the boot option when you are flashing those files. Once all of that is done, reboot your phone. Since this is the first time your phone is booting up, it might take a while so just be patient. Once the phone boots up, it's going to behave very weirdly for a couple of minutes because things are still setting up on it. What you need to do first is connect to the Wi-Fi and then open the Files app. It might crash once or twice but then just keep closing and opening it. Once you have opened the Files app, go to your internal storage and flash the Google Play Services APK. It will take some time to install but then it's necessary to do it because it will help you set up your phone. Once that is done, the Google Play Services app is installed, reboot your phone. And once the phone boots up, you can now set it up. After you've done everything, after you've set everything up, reboot your phone into the recovery mode and flash the Magisk zip file. This is required to have root access onto your phone. Once that is done, once again boot your phone into the recovery and flash the nfc.zip file. We need to do this because we need to hide the NFC options in this ROM because the Zenfone Max Pro does not have NFC. And since this ROM has been picked up from a Pixel XL, all of these NFC options are there. So we need to remove them with this nfc.zip file. Once it is installed, reboot your phone and now the last thing to do is to enable camera to API so that you can use Google camera on your phone. For that you need to download build.prop editor from the Google Play Store. Open the app, click on the plus button and add the line persis.camera.hal3.enabled and set the value to 1. Save it, reboot your phone and now you can install Google Camera and something like Open Camera as well to click photos and videos. Great, now you are all set with Android P on your Asus Zenfone Max Pro. So currently this ROM is based on the PR1 release of Android Pie and I have to say that it works very smoothly and fluidly. Android Pie is quite a bit of a departure from Android Oreo and I love the new design elements on it. The ROM runs really well on the Asus Zenfone Max Pro. The new notification tray, the settings menu, the new volume controls all work really well. Android Pie also has this smart feature in which it gives you an app shortcut sort of thing in your launcher based on the apps which are open in the background. It's pretty cool and one other thing that I like about Android Pie is this navigation gesture. So to enable it you need to go to settings, system, gestures and here enable swipe up on home screen. So what it does is that instead of the home and the multitasking button there is this one line at the bottom. If you tap it once it will act as the home button. If you swipe it up it will open the multitasking tray. And then if you swipe up again, it will open the app drawer. So basically you can access the app drawer from anywhere on the phone. And if you swipe across the line, you can quickly scroll and switch between apps. This is totally my favorite feature of Android Pie. Another thing that I like is that you have dark mode in Android Pie. If you enable it in display settings, some of the elements of the UI will turn dark, which looks pretty good.
The fingerprint sensor also works fine. It's a bit slow than the stock ROM, but then it's not a deal breaker. You also actually have face unlock in this ROM. It's hidden in the smart lock tab and once you set it up, the phone will unlock after recognizing your face and you just have to swipe up to unlock the phone. Overall, the ROM works really smoothly. Everything is very swift and fluid and it's great to have the latest version of Android on a budget phone. But then since this is a developer ROM, it's not free of bugs. First of all, when you connect your phone to your PC, you cannot transfer files, but then there is a workaround for that. So on your phone, you need to go to settings, system, about phone, scroll down and tap on the build number a couple of times until you get a message saying developer options have been enabled. Now go back, click on advanced and here you will see the developer options menu. Click on it and scroll down until you see the default USB configuration option. Set it to file transfer and now you can transfer file to your phone. Another bug that I faced was that the gestures aren't working on this phone. So apparently Android P gives you this double tap and lift to wake gesture which lets you see the notifications on your screen but then it's not working on the Zenfone Max Pro. The swipe down to toggle the notification tray is also not working. The notification LED only works when you're charging the phone and the phone is a little bit inconsistent in showing the SIM card network. But then the call quality and network reception is all fine on it. I can use 4G, I could use two Geo SIM cards without any issues. Google camera also works great on this phone. You have portrait mode on the front as well as the back camera but then sadly you cannot adjust any settings. Every time you try to open the settings menu, it crashes but then it clicks all the photos just fine. To fix that, you need to open the Magisk app, go to download and here type Google camera. You will see a Mi A1 Google camera fix file. Install it and after the install, the settings menu will work. And lastly, the gaming performance is also not as good as the stock ROM. It's not bad, but then I feel the stock ROM was smoother in terms of hardcore gaming. But then this is a beta ROM, so I'm not surprised. Honestly, I'm really happy after using Android P on the Asus Zenfone Max Pro. It works really well and it definitely feels a lot more smooth to operate than the Android Oreo. It's great to see these ROMs already popping up because it's just going to get better from here. I can't wait for some more Android Pie ROMs as well as the official update from Asus. So yeah, this was my video about installing Android Pie on the Asus Zenfone Max Pro. I know it was a bit too technical, but then if you can't understand all of these things, maybe you shouldn't try it out. But then for all of you guys who understand all of this, you should definitely go and try the Android Pie ROM for the Asus Zenfone Max Pro. All of the links are given in the video's description and as always if you guys enjoyed watching this video then please hit the like button and also follow me on my Facebook, Twitter and Instagram pages. If you're new here then definitely hit that red subscribe button and also press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on my new videos. I'll be making a special review of this 6GB variant very very soon so make sure that you are subscribed for that. Anyways that's all for now thanks for watching and I'll be back in the notifications very very soon. Bye.